a murderer's music box. Written by Manuel Rose and Melissa Rose. Narrated by Melissa Rose and Manuel Rose. Music composed and performed by Manuel Rose. Prologue I was almost 13 years old when I lost my mom and dad. After all these years, I still remember it as if it were yesterday. Something evil had taken them away from me. Something evil in that house. My parents weren't prepared for what was to happen to them. They had no way of knowing. To them, it was just a nice, quiet old house out in the country. All of a sudden, I heard it. That creepy, eerie little tune again. The tune we heard last time when we were here, two months ago. I turned to look at my clock on the nightstand. It lit up when I pressed the button. It was only one o'clock in the morning. The music was getting louder. Then, I heard a childlike voice singing along with it in the background. I heard a voice whispering. I couldn't tell what it was saying. I was scared. Then, there were footsteps. The voice got louder, coming towards my door. I got up and went to the door, and slowly opened it to see if my parents were in the hallway. They must have heard it by now. My father was standing in the hallway, looking up at the attic door in the ceiling. Daddy looked like he was in a trance. Mom had left the oil lamp on in the hallway in case I had to go to the bathroom during the night. The voice was more pronounced now. I could hear what it was saying. Let me out. Let me out. Chanting over and over again. My father was reaching up to the ceiling. He grabbed the attic door and pulled on it. But the padlock was still on it. I whispered to him, Daddy, I said, but he was hypnotized by that thing up in the attic. Finally, I got the strength to yell at him, Daddy! Samantha? What am I doing here? And what are you doing up? Help! I brought them back for you! Help! You held me the last time! Give me another chance! Roger's ghost was engulfing poor Mr. Smith and his fan. Mr. Smith was being burned alive in his own van by Roger Thompson's ghost. Just then, the van blew up. We heard the sounds of glass shattering and the final cries of a man whose life had been stolen from him in less than a heartbeat. It was the most horrifying thing we had ever seen and heard. I will never 
Forget it. I knew I had to get out of the house before it was too late for me. The house was crumbling and burning. It felt like an earthquake and a fire at the same time. I ran out of the master bedroom, into the hall and down the stairs. The flames were following me. Everything in the house was falling apart. Walls and ceilings were crumbling and coming down. There was glass from the broken windows everywhere. I finally made it to the front door. I opened the door and ran outside, watching the house burn down to the ground. This has been A Murderer's Music Box. Written by Manuel Rose and Melissa Rose. Narrated by Melissa Rose and Manuel Rose. Music composed and performed by Manuel Rose. Foley sound effects by Manuel Rose. Directed and produced by Manuel Rose. A Murderer's Music Box is an MMRProductions.com production.